Moving on now to California, where the porn is big business. The porn industry is big business. In fact, it's a multi-billion dollar a year industry in the LA area. But should adult performers be required by law to wear condoms when they're on the clock? Some think to seem to think so. So much so that they've put the issue on the voting ballot come November. But what do porn, uh, adult uh, entertainers uh, think about this? Well, Aaliyah Jane is an um, adult uh, film performer, and she definitely has an opinion, I'm sure. Um, she just arrived to our L.A. studio to discuss this. Hi there, Aaliyah. So let's talk about this. Um, I know that this story is more than porn. It's more than condoms. Um, it's about the right to your own body. Um, so let's talk about uh, about why there shouldn't be a, a requirement, it, uh, so you would think, I would assume, um, of condoms in this industry? Um, well, there's so many, so many factors that, that play with it. And, and one of the main ones to me, especially, is our First Amendment right um, to free speech. Um, if, if you just go through the Constitution a little bit, you can see that um, not only is it affecting our First Amendment rights, but it's also affecting due process because we're not allowed to make money the way that we want to. We're not allowed to control our own bodies, apparently. It's, um, it's very similar to Roe versus Wade, to me, um, the abortion law, where women have control over their own bodies. When someone is telling me that I am an adult, a consenting adult, an American, and I have to wear a condom, even though I go through all the testing that needs to be, my, my partner is tested, um, and that's basically forcing me to do something that I don't think that I should have to do. I think that if I want to wear a condom while performing, I should be able to do that as well. I think that it's about choice, and people are kind of losing that a little bit. They're more worried about the economics of it. and. And obviously, Michael Weinstein of the uh, AIDS Healthcare Foundation is worried about the um, about the health of performers, but he doesn't really have all his facts straight. And I know that people involved in this industry are tested about every two weeks for STDs. You are, without a doubt, the most tested people in America. So why condoms, and why now? Um, well, you know, there's there's a lot of conspiracy theories as to why all of a sudden he you know, started this whole campaign and this huge agenda against the adult industry when we have been self-regulated for a very long time. And yes, you know, accidents happen and, and you know, STDs are our are, are job hazards, like a construction worker has to worry about things falling on him or getting a nail in the hand. You know, those are his, um, you know, job hazards. Our job hazards are STDs. And yes, obviously we know that it's very possible that we could contract one, but considering that how often that we get tested, and all of us do, and most of us that live in L.A. work together, we don't give each other STDs. It's when someone sleeps with someone outside of the industry that's not tested. That's how it gets into the industry. And let's talk about the labor aspect of this. There was a case uh, when one adult film actor gave several of his colleagues syphilis. How can you trust your colleagues with your own health? And are you willing to put that, uh, that ri at risk? You know, that is definitely a one in a million time. Like, I've, I've, I've met the performer before that had, had altered his test, you know. Um, I can't really <laughs> explain as to why he did that, but no one else has done that. And now, you know, I'm not sure anyone will really work with him anymore. Um, they have fixed the testing, so, you know, the, the paperwork so that it can't be altered. There's also um, a more accurate system that we have now that um, directors and, and the healthcare professionals can spot that and be able to, you know, stop that performer from working. And we do know that the uh, California isn't doing that well on the economic front. As I mentioned earlier, uh, this is a multi-billion yeah. dollar industry, so we'll have to see yeah. how this plays out, because I know you guys have threatened before to leave California. Adult film performer, mm -hmm. Aaliyah Janine, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Megan.